hello guys i am back again still updating you what is going on in nigeria so wherever you are good morning good afternoon and good evening uh depending on your location at this time of today okay yesterday there was um a story flying out in the social media that two chinese uh were kidnapped in emo state and trust nigerian government the first people that accusation finger will be pointed at will be the ipob and the Eastern Security Network. But however, I am here because IPOB has cleared the air on the um, accusation of Eastern Security Network kidnapping two Chinese in Imo State. But I will give you more details on this. Please, uh, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. It is part of your effort to support us, uh, to keep doing what uh, we are doing. And to my existing subscribers, you guys have been wonderful. Uh, thank you for the love, the shares, all your comment as you keep supporting whatever you do god will also support you so today is 11 it's a beautiful saturday morning 11 uh december 2021 so i quickly want to give you guys this update i don't want to take much of your time so ipob yesterday friday has distanced itself from the abduction of two chinese nationals in oweri so that happened in Imo State. So IPOB spokesperson Emma Powerful said IPOB members and the Eastern Security Network have no hand in the abduction of the Chinese nationals in Oweri. Okay, so Emma Powerful said act of kidnapping and banditry are alien to the uh, group and their militia arm. So let me quickly give you uh, the statement by Emma Powerful in quote. He said the attention of the global movement and family of the IPOB, ably led by our great leader, Mazin Namdekanu, has been drawn to the false allegation and propaganda being peddled against IPOB and Eastern Security Network operatives that dare kidnap two Chinese nationals in Oweri, that is in Imo State. We want to make it um, abundantly clear to the public that IPOB and ESN, um, ESN have no hand in the said abduction. We are not into kidnapping or abduction for ransom. Such barbarity characteristic of bandit and terrorist is not part of our mandate. We are peaceful agitators for Biafra restoration. So a map of full accuse um, detractors of linking IPOB and Eastern Security Network to criminalities. Okay, further said that this effort to link IPOB and ESN with violence and criminalities are the handiwork of the detractors and enemies, but they will continue to fail woefully because the world knows that we are not a terror group. The Nigeria government has recruited a sort of fake ESN and hoodlums to implicate and demonize us, but more they try, the more our innocence is proof. We can be a terror organization and still maintain presence in over 100 countries. Nigeria keep releasing real terrorists who are still fighting and killing their citizens, including security agents, without reason. Yet at the, at the same time, framing up innocent freedom seekers as terrorists just to implicate them and discredit their global reputation, but they will never succeed. Chinese government and their people, and the people of China should know that Biafrans are peace-loving and hospitable. We don't spill blood. We are enterprising people scattered across the surface of the earth. There is hardly any country on earth where Biafrans are not residing and thriving with their legitimate business even in China. They should check if we have been linking with any barbaric like kidnapping in any part of the globe. How come it is in Nigeria that we will resort to such criminality? This is another propaganda by our enemies to disrepute us and it must be disregarded. Okay guys, um just like I said, I quickly wanted to update you on this. Um, it happened in Imo State, where two uh, Chinese nationals were kidnapped. So IPOB has this stand itself 
uh, from such um, activity. Of course, um, we haven't heard of anything. Okay, whenever we see the truth, uh, we should be able to say the way it is. Uh, we haven't heard of any um, activity linking IPOB to kidnapping for ransom. Of course, the people that kidnap this Chinese national, of course, they will ask for ransom. At the end of the day, um, you know what it is. IPOB and Eastern Security Network will be pointed um, accusation finger at. Okay, so um, I quickly wanted to update you on this. If you have anything to contribute, put it down in the comment section below. See you guys in another video.